Hey everyone, in this video, I'm going to bring you three spectacular AI stocks you can buy right now and hold for several years. And I'm not going to make you wait to learn the name of these three AI stocks. They are Alphabet, Taiwan Semiconductor, and ASML. But more importantly than the names of these companies to buy, I'm going to explain my reasoning and show you the evidence of why I recommend these stocks or why I like these stocks, their revenue, their profit, their return on invested cash flow, and the valuation are all reasons why I'm liking these AI stocks in the middle of this big tailwind in rising investments in AI. So let's take a look at these three and their fundamental metrics that attract me to these investments. I want to thank The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video. Visit fool.com slash parkev for the 10 best stocks to buy now. All right, starting with revenue growth, you'll notice Alphabet has done the best out of these three over the last decade in growing revenue up to 318 billion in the trailing 12 month period, up from roughly 80 billion in 2015. Alphabet has done a great job at turning mostly free products and services into $318 billion in revenue. I find that remarkable, don't you? How Alphabet just offers you YouTube and Gmail and Google search, all of which are free for customers, but the company generates billions, hundreds of billions in ad revenue and turns that into an incredibly lucrative business. I really like that business model. That's why I'm bringing Alphabet on this list here. In fact, Alphabet, I have ranked as my top stock to buy this year. I placed it on the list December 30th and I've kept it there because I've been so attracted to this business and it's traded at a relatively cheap valuation almost all year long, despite the price increasing, the valuation has remained relatively cheap because the revenue and profit have increased as well. Now, Taiwan Semiconductor has also done a good job growing revenue up to 71 billion in trailing 12 month revenue that's up from around 20 billion in 2015. More recently, Taiwan Semiconductor's revenue has surged because remember, Taiwan Semiconductor is one of the suppliers to Nvidia, which is absolutely thriving. And I guess this is a good time to mention why I didn't have Nvidia on this list of three excellent AI stocks to buy. And that's because Nvidia has probably been recommended to you by so many other people, including myself. I have Nvidia on my list of top stocks to buy, and I've been talking all year about how incredible Nvidia is. I wanted to provide a list of AI stocks that do not include Nvidia because Nvidia is included so many other places. I wanted to provide a little bit of variety here. That's why I chose to not include Nvidia in this list, but I do have Nvidia stock rated as a buy. I have it rated as one of my top stocks to buy. I just wanted to bring some variety here. That's why I didn't include it in this list. And last of the three here is ASML with trailing 12 month revenue of 28 billion. This company has one of the strongest competitive advantages of any that I've seen. It's EUV machines are leading edge. I don't think anybody else comes even close to this technology. And this is the technology that companies like Taiwan Semiconductor, Intel, Micron Technology, all need in order to manufacture their semiconductors. So we're really talking a pick and shovel play here. We're talking a pick and shovel play to the pick and shovel play. So you're really going deep into the supply chain of artificial intelligence when you're investing in ASML. All right, the next reason I'm gonna highlight why I'm liking these three stocks is the lucrative business model, which generates strong profitability. Taiwan Semiconductor with an operating profit margin of 41.82% has increased this margin over the last decade. And you can see the ups and downs here. It's a cyclical business with large capital investment. And Taiwan Semi has been investing in expanding its manufacturing to try and diversify its uh, manufacturing base outside of Taiwan. It's going to be hard to do. It is investing in that. And it's a good time for the company to do that because governments worldwide, including the United States, are offering Taiwan Semiconductor billions of dollars to add manufacturing locally. So Taiwan is capitalizing on that. I know for sure they're expanding in Japan and in the United States, and that's going to be helpful longer term. ASML 
operating profit margins of 31.52%. That's up from around 20% in 2015. The company demonstrates excellent economies in scale where profitability rises as revenue rises. And lastly, Alphabet generating an operating profit margin of 29%, up from roughly 25% a decade ago. And again, I find it impressive that Alphabet is able to generate a 30% profit margin on over $300 billion in revenue from mostly free products. That, to me, is an impressive business achievement, an impressive business accomplishment. Very difficult to replicate. That's why you see Alphabet dominate the way it does along with meta platforms because it's difficult to build that level of scale where you can generate strong profits on mostly free products. There's other companies that try to replicate that do not achieve scale large enough to generate profitability on mostly free products. Alphabet has achieved it and it's now benefiting from those investments. It's reaping the rewards of its investment and work. Speaking of investment, the next metric I like to look at here is the return on invested capital. And you'll notice ASML return on invested capital is an incredible 43.67%. This metric measures how much profit the company delivers on capital that it invests. So think of a process where an investor gives a company $100, then the company takes that $100 and uses it to create products or services, whether that be hiring people to conduct research and development, or whether it be hiring or purchasing or building manufacturing facilities. However, they use that capital to create a product or service that they then try to sell for profit. This measures the whole process, right? Taking the money from investors, investing in to create a product and generating product, how are they doing in that process? Of course, the higher the number, the better. ASML at 43.67% is among the highest of the businesses worldwide. Alphabet solid at 28.68%. Taiwan Semiconductor also solid at 20.22%. Now, I won't go too much into advanced finance theory on this metric, but a general rule of thumb is you want your return on invested capital to be above your weighted average cost of capital. And so when you're thinking about weighted average cost of capital, that's a separate computation. I teach that in university. I'm not gonna go into detail here about that, but a general rule of thumb, if you have a return on invested capital that's greater than 10%, greater than 15%, you're in the good to solid range. And anything above that is now getting really, really, really good. And you also like to see an upward trend where a company is getting better at this process. And you see that with these three companies, the trend is moving higher. It's also a solid number. And finally, I wanted to look at valuation, measuring with the forward price to earnings ratio. Alphabet is trading at a forward PE of 22, Taiwan Semi trading at a forward PE of 23, and at ASML trading at a forward PE of 33. I think these are reasonable valuations. In fact, undervalued valuations for these three incredible AI stock. That's why I thought I'd bring them to your attention here and highlight these are three AI stocks you can buy today and hold for several years. Before I let you go, let me tell you about the greatest deal on YouTube. With just a click of a button, you can get free financial analysis from a professor with decades of investing experience. So what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button and I'll see you again soon.